everybody. Hi. Um, welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. If your oven, oh my gosh, we're already starting off like that. If your apron goes down to your feet like it does to mine, all you have to do is fold it up and give it a good tie. And then what you do is tie it tight and tie it around in the front. And that's today's video. See you later, guys. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. Although I would force another cooking video. I didn't realize how bad I looked. Oof. Let's see if I can fix the lighting a little. Does that help? No. Um, I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, so anyways, tomorrow I am going to be going on a little shopping trip to pick out some things for my kitchen. <laughs> um, it's a little dull in here, so I want to decorate it a little bit by putting some cute jars and plants and things like that on my countertop because every time I watch these videos back, I go, it's so boring and like white and it needs a little bit of love. And I figured I would decorate it a little bit before I do my sugar cookie um, recipe because you're gonna be watching a lot of my kitchen and I want it to be fun and festive. But anyways, um, I am very, <laughs> Uh, anyways, I just got back from my mom and dad's house because we had the guy here today installing our shades. We have new pull down shades in our house, thank goodness, because it's always weird when you have open windows and I like to get up early and it's, it's weird knowing that I can't see out, but now I have my privacy, which is nice. Um, it's good because we don't have anybody behind us, any anyone behind us anyway, so it's not like we live with houses facing us. But my mom made more, say that five times fast. My mom made more peanut brittle today because she had so many requests and I think it's so cute that she started this like little peanut brittle business. So next year it's gonna go even bigger because I'm gonna help her and hopefully have it available to you guys online. But anyways, it's around five o'clock right now and I love eating around six. Tonight The Bachelorette is on, so I'm going to be editing this video while watching The Bachelorette. And then I promise I'll eventually get back into vlog style. I've just been a little busy this week and I'd rather pop on here and cook something than have no video, video at all. Um, Anyways, so tonight I'm going to be making lower carb stuffed bell peppers and I'm gonna make a recipe that my mom used to make when I was little but she always added the rice and I'm gonna use my favorite replacement, cabbage. And the reason I love cabbage so much is because it gives that good crispy, t like crunchy texture, kind of like rice does and it doesn't have much flavor. So when I'm using taco seasoning, it really adapts to that flavor and takes in all the seasoning and it has a good taste. So cabbage is so good when it's cooked. I understand like people not liking cabbage when it's just like in a salad or coleslaw, but it's so good when it's cooked up. You can hardly taste it. Um, that's why you definitely wanna season it. So I'm going to use bell peppers, red and green because Christmas. I'm gonna use an onion, green chilies, a little bit of sharp cheese, just a tiny sprinkle on the top. Taco seasoning. I really, really like the Siete kind, but you can only get it at Whole Foods, and I go to Whole Foods maybe once every two or three months. It's just too far, and I stop there if I'm in the area, but I haven't been there since the last time I showed you guys my Whole Foods haul. And then on mine, I'm going to be doing the kick and queso. It's a cashew cheese. It's from Fresh Cravings, and I always get it at my local grocery store Publix, but I think Walmart carries it. Um, but it is so delicious. It tastes just like queso, but it's plant-based. So I And it's lower carb, which is good for me. Sometimes plant-based um, is higher in carb, which is fine but I'm trying to keep my carbs a little bit down. Um, so when I talk about carbs, I promise you guys, I'm not knocking them. If you eat a ton of carbs, I'm jealous. 
I want to go back to that lifestyle and I will soon, but um, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing for right now, but I'm still eating them. It's not like I'm doing keto. If you watch yesterday's video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyways, yeah. Oh, and duh, I need to use my meat. So usually I'll do a ground turkey, but today I'm going to be doing ground chicken because at the grocery store yesterday they had buy two and get one. So I made the ground chicken for my lunch today with my mom and dad. I made them wraps and they were so good. So I'm also going to use my leftover package of chicken for tonight's dinner, which is going to be so delicious. So anyways, without further ado and a really bad introduction, let's start cooking. First thing you're going to want to do, and I'm telling you, this is going to be the first thing you'll definitely want to do. If you want to fill a huge pot up with water, I didn't need to do that, but I did it and I can't take it back. So, we're going to fill this up with water. This is like the most boring part of cooking is the waiting game. Oh, actually. I can clean these out while I'm waiting. Okay, so peel off the sticker, and then here's what you're gonna wanna do. Because you can save the top for the oven. Try to get it out just like that, look. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and save this. So when you put it back in the oven, you could just go like that, just right on top. So then once you have your pepper cut, I have to talk about my pepper again. I love you. I love you. Hey, my pepper. <laughs> Shut the door. Okay, I don't even know where I started. Um, anyways, so once you cut the top off, you'll have the empty pepper, and there's gonna be a couple remnants of the seeds. You can just pull those out or throw it in the water. It's not gonna make a difference at all. Um, since this is so small, you don't have to boil this. I like to pre-boil it because then it takes less time when it's thrown into the oven. So you're just going to pop this pepper half right into the water, just like that. And you're going to do that six more times with your peppers. The problem with cooking with peppers in the winter here is that none of the peppers are in season. So they're really expensive and the quality of peppers you get are so bad. Um, I know there's some grocery stores I could probably shop at that the peppers would be a little bit less expensive. Like we have a store close to us called Lytle where I should go more often. But anyways, so just like that, throw it on in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this two more times because I'm doing four bell peppers. What I love about this recipe is that Kyle doesn't really like bell peppers. So this is for me and I get to eat it all by myself. <laughs> is that selfish or genius? You let me know. But I will save a lot of the filling for him and he can just put it in a wrap. I love bell peppers. I love everything about them. Okay. <laughs> this is supposed to be another rainy day tomorrow, which I think is the perfect time to make my cookies. I can probably let out some of the water in here because I only have four peppers. For some reason, I thought I was cutting up six. I guess not. And it'll take more time to boil if there's more water, so. I'm just gonna leave it in there like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the stove on high heat. There we go. Oops, left a sticker. I don't want a boiled sticker. Did you guys know that these are actually edible, the stickers they put on here? 
they have to make them edible because people eat them a lot on accident. But someone also could have lied to me when they told me that just to get me to eat a sticker. Okay. Anyways, I have to find my pan. perfect little pepper pan that I like to use. It holds four to six peppers perfectly. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Pepper Piper picker pepper pepper. What I'm gonna do is only use about half of the cabbage so that way I can use the other half for another recipe coming up. So I always peel the outer leaves off. I'm only gonna use half of this. I will wrap the other half up and use it for another recipe. But you wanna get that cabbage going as soon as the peppers hit the stove top. So that way everything is a little bit faster for dinner. So I didn't cut it all the way, but I can use a better knife. I know you guys get so mad at me when I use steak knives for everything, but that's how I grew up, okay? <laughs> so I will use this knife. And I will use this half. You know, I don't actually think this cabbage was as ripe as the ones I've eaten. It's a little bit yellow and white inside. I'm used to them being so green, but that's all we're gonna have going for us right now. Yeah, and usually the cabbage is easier to pull apart, but anyways, I'm gonna cut this into a half so I can get this going. Wow. I hope this still convinces you to try cabbage. <laughs> anyways. So if you guys can see that pan right here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up in little tiny pieces. Just like that. Yeah, this definitely is not right, but that's okay. It's all okay. And here I am back to using my other knife. Okay, just like this. Definitely get a ripe cabbage. Cause this one's so hard. And that smells fine. Don't worry, I'm watching my fingers. to take my onion. Just don't want to have it make me cry. I'm hormonal this week enough. I don't need any more tears. So last night, Leo got sick at like four o'clock in the morning and I had to Clean stuff up, and the funny part, which is not funny, but kind of funny, is he puked up two of Santa's legs. <laughs> like literally, actually no, it was Mrs. Claus's legs. He puked up the two legs individually at separate times. So, those are off limits for a while. I don't know why he eat, ate that, he never eats those. Um, but then he had to go to the bathroom, so I was up at 4 o'clock, I didn't get to bed until midnight, so tired, but the good thing is I actually fell back asleep, which is so rare for me, usually if I'm up, I'm up, but I fell back asleep and I didn't wake up until 8 o'clock in the morning, and I was supposed to go on a walk with my neighbor, but <laughs> luckily she had, not luckily she had a migraine, but she had a migraine, I was tired, so I took a day off. 
But then I had fun with my mom today. We made so much peanut brittle and crafts and I'll, I'll insert a video of how much we made. It was so fun. We had to bag up 50 individual little bags and then we did 15 of the huge one pound bags. So anyway, now that I have my cabbage and my onions in there, I'm gonna put a little bit of avocado oil on top. Yep, it got to my eyes. I'm going to start drying. Where's my, oh, there it is. Oh no. Let's, let's get this out of here. avocado oil on the top like that give it a good shake 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 them onions shake that cabbage oh shake 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 oh shake 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 that's just making my tears worse oh my god um now we're gonna shake that pepper shake the pepper Do you guys watch Married at First Sight? I ran out of seasons. Oh my gosh, that show is so addicting. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the stove top. I literally have one eye shut right now. Ugh. Oof. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands and wipe. Good thing I didn't put mascara on. Do you guys have any tips for when you get onion juices in your eyes? <laughs> Not how to prevent it, how to cure it. Oh, I usually don't get it in my eyes, but look at this. And this is where my acting skills come in. You guys, like everybody's hit rock bottom and vlogmas. <laughs> crying over onions. <laughs> oh god, I'm probably gonna edit that out. You guys didn't know that I'm a, I'm a theater kid. All right, I don't know how to transition from that. Oh, now I have hair in my eye. A ground chicken, and it's gonna go into the pan. And you're gonna cook it up. Right on the stove top. I'll take you guys with me. We're just gonna go ahead and put it right on the stove top. Just like that. So now that we're over here, we can just stay over here. And the meat's cooked. I'll add the meat to the vegetables and then I'll end up adding the taco seasoning before I stuff the bell peppers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is just a six ingredient meal. If you don't count all the seasonings. Actually, I don't need that many seasonings because I have the taco seasoning. So yeah, you can make this with six ingredients. And you can add any type of vegetables you want to this dish. But. The onions and the cabbage look so similar. Another thing I don't think I mentioned was I added a little bit of salt to this to make it boil faster. Does, does that even work or is that just like some kind of funny myth? What's the science to that? I'm gonna look it up. Alexa, why do you add salt to water to make it boil faster? Here's something I found on the web. According to Blizzard.com, if you add salt to water, it raises the boiling point, which slows down the rate of evaporation. Oh, and there you have it. Thanks, Alexa. All right, let's play Jeopardy. Alexa, let's play Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy. 
According to the National Registry, that tracks them. He also the average golfer accomplishing his feet. I'm so mad because I don't know if I was recording at all. Part of me thinks I wasn't. But anyways, I'll have to check the tape. But we have our cabbage and our onions going. We have our peppers, they're boiling, so I'm gonna turn the heat off because we still have to stick them in the oven. And then we have our ground chicken over here cooking up with no seasoning. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad if I wasn't recording. I don't wanna do it again. Maybe I just hit the button when I came over here. Or maybe I timed out, I don't know. But I'm gonna be so stinking mad. So mad that I just spilled. We have it out of here. No, not the last time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, since I don't want the peppers to overcook, because they still need to go into the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the bowl. So I'm gonna use a little tong because the water is so hot. And I'm gonna put one right here. Let it drip off. You don't want any water going into your stove. That's what happens when you get fires. Here. Peppers are so funny because they're completely different sizes. So some are tall, some are fat, some are short. They're like people. So now we have our peppers and they're about, you'll know when they're done because they become a little bit soft, but you don't want them to be wrinkled. So make sure you don't wrinkle them because then you've overcooked them. So I'm gonna go ahead and set them aside. All right, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of this water in here, my pepper water. And I'm gonna add it to put a little bit of moisture in with my vegetables. And this also keeps it from turning the bottom of the pan black. And then I also, I need to reduce the heat to a low. I don't want them to over brown. Right. Now we got our chicken cooking up. Good, that looks. Smells amazing. There's nothing better than onions making your house smell like delicious food. All right, I'm gonna make a little side for the side. I think that makes sense, yeah. I'm going to have sliced tomatoes. I'm so used to having potatoes as a side with bell peppers, tacos. So this is really making me go out of the box. I know this is gonna scare you, but I'm gonna be careful. Um, this has me going out of the box, so I like that. And maybe I really do eat a lot of carbohydrates. And we're gonna see how my body responds to that. So anyways. Going to go like this really lightly. Don't cut any fingers. I thought about making this like a side, but I'm, now I'm thinking about just putting this right on top. But I'll put it on the top and then mix it all in once my pepper falls apart, because it does every time. So go like that. Oh, I'm not even showing you guys. What am I doing? Okay. So now I'm gonna scoop these out. How cool is that? 
right onto the tomatoes. The only reason I started calling them tomatoes is because that's what Kyle calls them. And when you guys start like being with someone for a really long time, Kyle and I have been together for almost five years now, which is crazy because I feel like I just met him. Um, you start creating these weird languages that only you guys understand or funny words. So we're definitely at that point in our relationship. We have been for a while, so we always just say funny things. Anyways, what I'm going to do now is I have my cooked vegetables and my cooked chicken. I'm going to add the chicken right on top. And next what I'm going to do is add in the taco seasoning. And if you make your own taco seasoning, you're amazing. It's really easy to do. I'm just so lazy sometimes. But yeah, so I have taco seasoning, chicken, onions, and cabbage all in one pan. I'm just gonna throw that right back onto the stove top and let that cook together. And I'll bring you guys over there because it's therapeutic to watch, I think. Oops, there goes the cabbage. <laughs> 30, 30 second rule, right? <laughs> Turn the heat up just a little bit. And we are going to take my spoon and just let it coat. Now, when you're looking at the taco packet, it'll tell you to add water with the taco seasoning. Not all of the packets say that, but don't add water. Just take the time to really coat your chicken and your vegetables because it's so much more it just tastes so much more seasoned and less watered down. Whatever the back of the packet says, you can ignore it now and then. If nobody did their own thing, there wouldn't be restaurants because everybody would know how to make the same dish. But oh my gosh, I wish you guys could see how good that looks in real life. The camera is just not doing it justice, but wow, that looks delicious. So I'm going to reduce the heat and I'm going to let that cook a little longer. It's almost ready to go into the peppers. Oh, baby. Baby, you got what I need. Oh, I should be fired. Who wanted me to do vlogmas again? <laughs> I'm gonna heat the oven to 400. So, we have our peppers. I'm gonna move you down so you can see. Right here. Is that okay? I think that's okay. Is it too shadowy? I could turn this light on. Nope. I still don't know my lights yet. How's that? Is that better? I think that's better. It kind of looks like one of those interrogation room lights, but we're gonna roll with it. So, we have our mix, and I'll go ahead and let you know what's in it one more time, so just in case you're writing it down this time. We have cabbage, onion, ground chicken, and taco seasoning. I also used avocado oil to cook up the vegetables and black pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill. I'm gonna set it on here because I don't wanna put it on my cabinet yet. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the peppers up. Oh, I cannot wait to eat these. And if you want, this is something I used to do too, throw in some cheese, some vegan cheese, whatever you wanna do, give it a good mix. I bet that would taste so stinking good. All right. Perfect. All right, this is getting heavy. Oh, duh. I have an oven mitt right here, so here's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna put it all in, just like that. See, this takes no time to make. 
I think we've been cooking for 20 minutes now. And then these will go in the oven for like 15 minutes tops. Cause you could eat it just like this. It's pretty much already cooked. Another really fun thing to do as well is put rice down below and add a little water. Have it like semi-cooked or one of those pre-cooked packages of rice. So then you have your peppers and rice already in the oven. You can make cheesy rice, whatever you wish to do. All right, we have one more little baby pepper to fill. Obviously, I'm not a very good filler upper because I've been putting them everywhere. Um, oops. So Kyle wants me to make him a Crunchwrap Supreme. Would you guys want to see that? I think that would be fun to do. Okay. Anyways. So here we have our stuffed bell peppers. How delicious does that look? And how easy was that to make? What I'm gonna do, oh my gosh, I'm so stinking stupid. I'm so mad at myself. I forgot my green chilies. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. If you're gonna use these, go ahead and cook them in with your cabbage. I'm gonna spoon some in. So this is what I mean. These cooking videos, you never really know what's gonna go wrong or what's gonna happen. But this happens to everybody cooking at home. We're always doing something wrong, but usually like the Food Network, they'll record it all over again if they get it wrong, which totally respect that because you wanna watch someone doing it right. But here I am, just the average drip. Average Joe. Come on, put your words together, Tara. Okay. I'm gonna spoon some into the pepper if I can get this open. So just a little bit on top, a little bit on top. A little bit on top, a little bit on top. So I'm just gonna make my way into the pepper until they go in. And again, green chilies are optional, but I think they're so good and they do add a nice spice to the, the pepper. Actually, it's kind of cute with them all on top. I kind of like that. I mean, you're gonna cut into it anyway. So there we have it. Now, here's what I was talking about. If you want, you can cook your pepper back up and just put the lid right on it and then that's exactly how you can serve it. I'm not gonna do that. I thought I was gonna do that, but I'm not. What I'm gonna do now is add a little bit of cheese to the top of them. I'm just gonna do it to all of them. But you can have cheese as long as it's not so much cheese where you don't feel very good. I don't know, dairy does that to me. So I just do a tiny, tiny, tiny bit right on top instead of mixing it in. I think I use maybe a tablespoon of cheese on all of them. So here we have our beautiful, delicious stuffed bell peppers that are about to go into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes at 400 degrees. So let's go put those in the oven. Oh, I shouldn't do that, but let's go put those in the oven. Let's put them in the oven. Bake my friend, my friend, you gotta bake. Go Okie dokie, now we clean up our mess while those bake. Okay. Okay, so now it is time to take those bell peppers out of the oven. And don't forget your mitt. Oh, they smell scrumptious a little yumptious. And don't forget to turn your oven off. All right, I need an, another oven mitt. I don't know where my matching ones went, but anyways, I want you to see how delicious these look. Are you kidding? How stinking delicious. Don't you just wanna eat one? I certainly do. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right. No, well. So I still think maybe the first half of this video didn't record and if it didn't, I'm so, so, so sorry. I would feel horrible, but ooh, my hair was in that. Good thing it's just rust. Okay. Look how good that looks. And it's so low carb. 
I don't think I had any carbs in that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to hop on the computer, edit this video so you guys can watch it tonight and hopefully make this dish tomorrow. I know some of you guys have been messaging me and you sent me pictures of your chicken nuggets that you made yesterday and I'm so happy they turned out for you. Um, I need to make those again ASAP. So good. Um, let's see, what else? And then I have a fun little project I'm doing with Kyle tonight and The Bachelorette. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys have a good night, and I'll see you guys in Vlogmas Day 15. Have a little bit of habanero ranch from Tesame's. This stuff is so good. I'm going to put it on my tomatoes and my avocados. Avocados. <laughs> Little on the side, oh. and then I'm gonna have some of that vegan cheese right on the top of my pepper. And then a little on the side for dipping. And that is a good plate. Watch this. Oh, oh are you joking? How about that for a meal? I say yes. I'm hopping on here with probably food on my face and in my mouth, but I forgot to tell you guys, or I forgot to show you guys like my reaction to it. I was not expecting it to taste this delicious. Like that first bite, I was expecting it to taste like maybe some kind of like taco seasoning and good, but holy cow. You guys have to try this recipe. It is amazing. I don't even miss the rice. It is so, so, so good. Like I wanna make it tomorrow. Actually, I'm excited because I have two leftover bell peppers. Kyle's eating the other one all for myself. It's so good. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. You need to make it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. <laughs>